What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Punter's Paradise. Today we have more cash game action coming live from you playing at Ignition Casino. We're playing four tables of 50 and L and let's get straight into the action, shall we? All right, this guy's just 7x and he's got 17 big blinds behind. I'm going to come in for an ISO. I'm going to try and target this guy, try to get him in for his last 17 big blinds. He's been doing some crazy, crazy things. So we're going to put him in and uh, let's hope the ace high can win. Roll in, it's a nice little small pot to start it off with. It's a good flop, he needs a 10. <laughs> we get running quads, good way to start the, start the session, boys. Let's go. So we're gonna ISO this guy is a limp. He's playing with 15 big blinds. We make it five big blinds. If he puts the rest in, we'll go with it. If this guy puts in the rest as well, we'll probably go with it. These guys are loving playing off the short stack so far, this session. We have to punish these guys. Punish, punish, punish. We'll see what these guys want to do. We see one flat. If he does uh, shove, it's a good spot for us to reshove with a bit of dead money in the middle, but we will see. They both call and we get a very nice flop. We flop top pair, backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Bit of this, bit of that, bit of everything. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can get both of these guys to commit their stacks on this flop. We'll see. They are thinking about it. We don't need to go too big here. I can just bet like one third. I'm assuming he's just gonna put it in if they have anything. One of them does, and the other one folds, which is fine. We'll just call it off, and he's got jack six. He needs two outs on the river. He doesn't get there. We pick up another little small one, but they all count. Well, this could get a bit spicy. This guy's been a bit crazy to start the session. We're going to three bet him with the tens, and we are not folding, especially this guy. So we'll see what he decides to do. He's been a bit active. He's been a bit crazy. Well, this is scary when we get a three bet from this guy. Let's have a look. Hmm. Player six has played quite a few hands. Let's flat and see if we can hit a 10. Ooh. It's a good flop and a four bet pop. I don't think we need to shove here. We've got a pretty good lock on this hand, I think. Unless it's got queens, then we're going to win this hand. We'll see what he decides to do. Shoves with Cole, no queens, dealer. Ace king, no jack on the river. Bang, we'd pick up another one. Let's go! Ace Queen of Suits. Ace Queen of Suits. Ace Queen of Clubs here. We're going to come in for a three bet from the button open. We're playing three handed. It's not the best flop. Nine high without a backdoor flush draw or anything, but I do think we put out a little bet. It's going to hit him a bit harder than it's going to hit me, but also, you know, we're just going to turn a queen, so. Life is good. We're gonna bet. Bet again. Uh, if he does call, depending on the river, we will shove. Just see. Obviously, now that we've hit top pair, we want to call. Mm. Seven hearts is probably one of the worst rivers we could imagine. I'm gonna start with a check. Um, he got a flush draws pretty often. He does shove. Mm. So we're gonna have to think about what he would potentially call flop with, call turn with, call pre-flop with. We did three, but um, what's he? Like, what's he bluff shoving here? I think, I think we just give up here. If you guys think we should be calling here, let me know down in the comments below. But I think this is probably just a fold. A lot of people aren't going to be over bluffing this spot in 50L, so it's going to be a tight fold from me on this one. Here, this guy limped. This guy ISO'd. He went cold, cold, and then he leads his flop. I'm just going to put him in here. Like, if he's got a 3, then GG. But if he's got an ace, then whatever. We're just going to chop unless a 5. Oh, we hit the fire on the river. All right, we scooped there. Uh, it's a small pot, but it's nice to pick up. Pocket jiggity jacks, wickety wax. See an open to three, flat to three. Another flat. This needs to be a squeeze, and it needs to be big. Fifteen blinds. We're popping her up to. This guy snap shoves. Jeez. 
Like, I don't know. He shoved way too quick. Like, do you ever snap, like, snap shove that quick with aces or anything like that? Surely not. Like, you got two players behind as well. Wouldn't you just wait? Oh, I don't know. I think this is like ace king or ace queen or something. I think I will call. We'll just see. Wait to see what this guy does. All right, we'll call it off. He's got ace king. Let's hold. Keep it low. Keep it low. Oh, Pick that one up, boys. Nice flip to win. Look at this guy just open ripping. Let's run it. King Queen, this guy's been like open shoving. See the Olympia, so I'm just gonna take this as a reshove spot. Um, King Queen's quite a good hand. Why not? Let's gamble. I'm a bit tilted. Majority, that's the main reason we're putting it in here. <laughs> He's got Jack Five. Let's hold. So far, so good. So far, so good. And we hold. Well, we get a little bit of our money back, a little bit of our profit back. The old Jack Five shove. Alright guys, now that's going to wrap up our session, so let's have a look at how we've done. So before we refresh, we were up about $137. Let's click that refresh button. $152, another winning session. That makes it four in a row here at Punter's Paradise. We um, are turning the year around, boys. So if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button, click subscribe, help your boy out. And if you are interested in playing online poker here in Australia, you can sign up to Ignition in the description below. Cheers, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.